Hi guys, it's Monday, and I am doing a quick capture again. I don't have excuses for you. I've just been really awful lately. And I'm honestly like every time Austin's online. Okay. Every time I go back here to make a video, I apologize and I give a reason why, and then I say, oh, I'm really gonna try harder next time, and then it's like three weeks before you hear from me again. And that's crap, and I know that's wrong. And I don't know why I do it, because I have the time, I swear I have the time, but I like, okay, so today I've been off of school, and I have had literally no excuse not to make a video. But like, before, like last week was my last Monday of um, freshman year, and woohoo, by the way, I'm so excited to be on summer break, and I'm even more excited to start sophomore year next year. <sighs> Such a nerd. Um, but anyway, I I would come home from school, and I would get on the computer, and I would check my email to make sure my teachers didn't email me anything about assignments or something. And then I would get on Facebook, and I check my English class chat group, and then. I'd end up on Tumblr, and I'd end up on Pandora, and I'd end up on StumbleUpon, and I'd end up on all of these websites that I didn't need to be on, and YouTube just wasn't a priority, and I don't know why, and it makes me sad that it's not, because honestly, every time I log back on YouTube, I remember why I love it so much, and I just, I don't know why I don't spend enough time on YouTube focusing on making videos, or watching videos, or talking to people that I've come to love because I watch their videos, and that's what YouTube's for, and I don't understand why I can't get at that. So I'm not going to make up excuses, and I will tell you that I'm going to try harder to make more videos. Um, but you know what? I feel like we, we were talking about this in the Facebook chat. I feel like this year has kind of been our like 2009 fail year was for um, Five Awesome Girls. It just kind of sucked. and. It's funny because this year was the year we were going to buckle down and we are going to actually do it. That's what I kept saying. And I'm sure that got annoying too. Um, and we never actually did that. And honestly, I'm pushing for 2012, I guess. Wow. Wow. So I'm pushing for 2012 to be the year we finally buckle down. Um, but if that doesn't happen, you know, I just don't want this to end, this communication here, because I know that we've all posted within the past, like, two months. It just hasn't been consecutive. And, I mean, you know, it's nice when it is consecutive, but I really am just glad that I get communication with you girls because, honestly, you're some of the best people I've ever met. And any kind of loss in this relationship just makes me really sad. Like, I was thinking about it the other day, and I remember how I used to stay up till, like, 3 in the morning, like, on Skype with Tiffany or texting Kaylee. Or, you know, I think I even got on Skype with um, Wanda and Lauren a couple times. And I miss that. I really, really do. I, I miss knowing that I, I mean, I know that I can talk to girls. I just don't. It's not a reflex anymore. And I don't know why it's not. And it makes me really upset that it's not. But I'm working on it. I honestly am. And now that I've ranted for about 3 minutes and 30 seconds about how much I miss how we used to be. And I do this every video. And I'm really... Just, oof, I'm sorry. Um, I do want to fill you in a little bit on my life and how things have been going because the video that I keep promising you will end up on my personal channel, which it still might, is being delayed more and more as I realize that I have no software to edit it. And I can't just put this like little 30 second clip up and this little 30 second clip up because it just looks stupid. Basically, I have been to the Folger Shakespeare Theater in Washington, D.C., which was really fun. I went with my English class. Um, I have had a concert with school, like music concert, that was really fun too. I love hanging out with the kids in the music department because they're awesome people. Yes, I'm playing with the drawers while I'm talking to you guys. There's something wrong with me today. Um, I have just done a bunch of really cool stuff with my friends. I went canoeing, there's a little bit of clips of that. Um, I went to the movies a bunch of times. I'm getting ready for my show, which is this weekend, um, and I'm really trying to get some clips from that, but they don't like cameras back there, so maybe, maybe not. Um, I don't know, just a bunch of really awesome stuff has been happening, and I haven't been able to share it with you guys, and that sucks. Um, 
But anyway, like I was saying before, I finished my freshman year in high school. Next year, I will be a sophomore come September, I guess. End of August, early September. I'm excited to be done with my classes because this past year, my classes have been so stressful and I got so behind on schoolwork that eventually there was like three classes that I thought I was seriously going to fail and like not finish the year or something stupid. It's really stupid because I not only get really good grades, but I just was getting really behind on the work and that's not an excuse, it's just me being stupid and I don't know, I'm just glad that we're getting a new year and need to start over. I have three books that I have to read for summer reading this year. Uh, one is Into Thin Air by John Krakauer. That's our school book that everyone in school has to read, and then we're going to have a discussion and an assembly about it. And it's, I guess it's a good book. I read Into the Wild this year for English, and I didn't really like it, but it was more because of the style, not because of the writer. I just didn't like how it was written, like a giant news article. I'm more of a story kind of person, so I probably would have enjoyed it more if it was like in order as a story. Um, the other two books we have to read, I don't know the authors, but they're classics, so you should know them anyway. Um, if not, Google them because they will come up. Um, Grapes of Wrath and Native Son. And Grapes of Wrath is about the um, Dust Bowl and how the farmers in the Great Depression in the Dust Bowl had to move to California to get any work because there was nothing there. It was literally like they would watch their farms like blow away. And so they, they and their families packed up and they moved places, but um, they got nicknames like the Okies and the Arkies, and they were like, it's like using the N-word for someone who um, is dark-skinned. It's wrong. And it's like this big story about how they were all put down and segregated and judged by the who they were and where they came from and how they got money and stuff like that. It's really, it sounds like a good story. I haven't read it yet because I don't have a copy of it, but hopefully this week I can get my grandparents to take me to the bookstore so I can buy a copy um, because I want to read it soon. I want to get summer reading done before I go on all my trips because I'm going to California this summer and I'm also going to North Carolina. So those should be fun trips <laughs> and hopefully I will be updating you while I'm on those trips. Fingers are crossed. Um, I, and the Native Son is about this kid who's living, I think it's Harlem Renaissance. Um, he's like, I, you know, I really don't know that much about it. It's just, I think it's like he's, I know he's African American and he's like trying to get a job or something. I, honestly, like, I feel really ignorant not knowing what it's about, but it's supposed to be a really good book. Um, the guy who wrote Native Son actually, like, was a very huge critic of Zora Neale Hurston, who wrote um, Their Eyes Were Watching God, which is a book we read in English this year. And I loved that book. I thought it was really, really well written. So, um, Zora Neale Hurston has an amazing sense of imagery, and if you haven't read that book, you definitely should. It's a brilliant book. Um, but those are the books that I'm reading for over the summer. I'm also being forced by my friends to read like four different series. Like my one friend, actually, like four of my friends want me to read the uh, Mortal Instruments, which I know Tiffany's a big fan of. I think Lauren knows about them too. Um, and then there's. The Hunger Games series, which I've been wanting to read for like a year now, and also Percy Jackson, which I've been wanting to read too. Um, and then I'm also going to read like uh, The Book Thief, I think it is. And there are a bunch of really, really good books that I want to read over the summer. And I'm going to have a lot of time to do that because I'm going to have some flight time, some plane time. I'm going to have like nine hours on a plane this year um, going to California. I'm so freaking excited. I've never been off the East Coast of the United States before, so this is like insane for me. Um, but I don't know. I just talked for like nine minutes straight without breathing. I miss you girls so much. I didn't talk to you individually because I haven't watched your videos because I'm a lazy butt and I'm annoying. Um, so I hope you all are well. Tiffany graduated, and I don't know if I talked about that in my last video, but she graduated high school and that's fan-freaking-tastic and I'm so proud of you. I'm so happy. Like, I can't even express to you, it's just like, I remember meeting you and like one of the first things you talked about was how you couldn't wait to get out of high school and you're finally there and you're just going to do so many amazing things in the world and now nothing is stopping you and I'm just so excited for you. And <laughs> I feel bad because I gave this like ginormous speech to Tiffany and then I don't have anything to say to the rest of you, but I love you, I love you, I love you so, so much and I really hope we get back into closer contact because I miss you girls like crazy. Um, so with that, I love you all. Learn, I will see you tomorrow. 
Hopefully, I'm DFTBI. Bye.